Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment is brought to you by Safety Systems. That's security systems for your home and office, life safety systems. They also do uh, fire safety checks and equipment. Uh, uh, they, they come by your, your office and, and do the testing for you. That's the word I was looking for, testing. And uh, they also do home theater systems and entertainment systems, your home communication systems your, at your office, your workplace. Visit safetysystems.com or call VFL JJ Serlis this week and ask him about your needs because I'm guessing safety systems can help you meet them. Safety systems. All right, back with Chuck Cavalleris, Josh Ward, who did a good job over there, and Jimmy Himes. <laughs> Look here, undefeated challengers. Now, this is with the teams that lost last night and the teams that won and who I think is going to move up. I think your top seven in the polls are going to be these teams. Georgia's still going to be at number one. In white, you see the ranked teams that everyone's beaten. In orange, you see the ranked teams as they stand today who are still on everyone's schedule. Georgia, I think, will still be number one. Ohio State, probably still going to be number two. Clemson, Michigan, and Tennessee, I don't know how they're going to shake it out. Three, four, and five. Personally, there's only one of those teams up there that's beaten four ranked foes. So if mm -hmm. somebody's got to be number three in my book, it's Tennessee. But... You know how the pollsters are. There's no telling. I think TCU and Ole Miss are going to jump. TCU already got there. The only thing that's even close to Tennessee with three wins over ranked opponents. They have uh, two re remaining. Tennessee has two remaining. Georgia has three remaining. But you look at teams like Ohio State, Michigan, Clemson, they're going to wind up playing three ranked teams as it stands today. Uh, so Tennessee looking pretty good moving forward. Uh, then we move on to the uh, next graphic, just best case scenarios. All right, now I'm going to throw these out. Hey, look, I put these together early, early in the morning, so if I've got something up there that's goofball, I'm counting on you boys to say, no, John, that's not right. <laughs> Best case scenario in my mind is UT wins out, wins the SEC championship game, goes to the college football playoff, and because they've done all that and they're probably number one in the country, they put them right in the Peach Bowl. It's Peach and Fiesta this year, and if you could send Tennessee down to Atlanta, woo boy. Second best case scenario, Tennessee wins out, loses the SEC championship game, Still gets a bid to the college football playoff as the number two out of the SEC. That's going to depend on who you play and obviously getting there. We're looking best case. Number three, Tennessee loses to Georgia but wins out from there, avoids the SEC championship all altogether, and still gets a bid into the Peach or Fiesta Bowl in the playoff. That's a possibility. Number four, Tennessee loses a game to someone, loses the college football playoff bid, and goes to the Sugar Bowl because I think the Sugar Bowl would kill to get Tennessee this year. Mm -hmm with Hendon Hooker for Heisman, with Josh Heupel's offense, and the fact that this fan base will tear New Orleans to the ground. And then number five, UT loses two games. This is the, this is the catbird seat you've put yourself in. You can lose two games, and I still think the Sugar Bowl will come calling at your door. Yeah. All right, if you don't see any mistakes there, let me just ask you guys, go where you want. Tell me about which scenarios you think are realistic, what you think is good, what you think is most likely to happen, if they can win out. I'll let you take it. I just threw the information out. Take right. it wherever you want to go. I think the most realistic for Tennessee is lose to Georgia, win out, and you still go to the college football playoff because you've only got one loss, and your resume stacks up really good. Is it, you've got four wins against ranked opponents, which you pointed out, and I think you're going to have a, a, even better than maybe an undefeated Clemson, maybe. Yeah. So I think if you lose to Georgia – and you only have one loss, don't play in the SEC championship game, and you're 11-1, and one, I think you've got a really good chance at the college football Yeah, player. you could lose to Georgia and be then cheering for Georgia, right? If Georgia plays Correct. like Alabama in the uh, SEC championship Correct. game. I do think that third scenario, John, is the most likely from where I'm sitting. And I think you either go to the college football playoff, and Jerry Palm now in his ranking has them the number four seed replacing Alabama. That came out today. Uh, I think you're either going to go to the college football playoff or – Bull for the Sugar Bowl. That's not oh, a bad trip, John. I, yeah, I don't want to <laughs> – nothing against Vol fans, but for this show's purposes, I'm wanting to do the show live from New Orleans. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to Atlanta. I will go to New Orleans. Uh, Josh, your thoughts. We're sitting here honestly discussing the mm -hmm. fact. I think their best option is getting into the playoffs this way. That yeah. still sounds insane. You're right, but it sounds insane to me. Your thoughts on this? Well, I mean, I guess if you play the probability game, what three of the five options on the screen were playoff, right? Right. Yeah. So right. You, if you can get your pick of any of them, then the probability is to get there, which is you know, a statement. So uh, if, if you have to choose one scenario, what, what scares you would be, okay, if you lose to Georgia in Athens, which obviously could happen, you're 11-1, and one, then you are hoping. You, you are yeah. pulling for Georgia because mm – -hmm. Right. Alabama has to get some things cleaned up. If the loss causes them to do that, 
well, they go in and they just outscore Georgia and Alabama wins the SEC title game, Georgia has beaten you, that keeps you out because Georgia would go in front of you. So uh, if you're 11-1, and one, you are a big Georgia fan in the title game. I think Ole Miss is a scare for Tennessee because they've got an easier mm-hmm. schedule. And you've already seen Alabama struggle with Texas offense before Ewers got hurt. You saw them struggle with Tennessee's offense yesterday. I, Ole Miss is the second fastest offense in this mm-hmm. league. Yeah, I, That scares me if they could beat Alabama and it could be Ole Miss Georgia in the SEC championship game. I'm not sure what that would do if you don't beat Georgia, of course. Right. If you beat Georgia, you know, all and then here, here's have we mentioned this? There's a chance you could play Alabama again. <laughs> Certainly. In, in, and you know. I don't know how that would go. But that's high that's, scoring. Yeah, that's looming out there. Who's going to set the over for that one? But if Tennessee's a 12 and 0 team playing Alabama and loses in the title game, then I still think there's a, a great the same chance. way Alabama. Yeah, I would got expect in. Tennessee to be well, in. The same way yes. Georgia got in last year after yeah. losing yeah. Alabama. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, the the key though, I mean, obviously, if you want the playoff, the key is you can only lose one more game. You can't lose two right. games and get sure. in. Uh, if you lose two games though. I do think you're locked for the Sugar Bowl. Yeah. I would be shocked if you're not in New Orleans if you lose two games. So, even I don't think anybody would freak out over a loss to Georgia. I think you would have some freaking out if you lost to someone else because everyone now looks at it, despite what we just showed. Mm-hmm. Everyone's yeah. going to look at it and say, well, you should beat Kentucky, you should beat South Carolina, you should beat Missouri. If you lose another one of those, people will freak out. But once they get down to New Orleans, I think it'll smooth over and people just appreciate a 10-2 and two season. So oh, gosh, they've put – yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. I yeah. just, but you the, know, the you know as well as I do, let them lose to Georgia and Kentucky both, yeah. and they'll be yeah. ticked What's off. What's your anticipation where you change the word a little bit? What yeah, it's it? anticipation. Anticipation. Yeah. Yeah. 10-2 would be one game better than what Jimmy and I both predicted, right, Jimmy? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Joke. So you'd both be just as wrong as <laughs> Josh and I. Okay, very good. Uh, when we come back, uh, our defensive coordinator and our VFLs are going to step through the ways that Josh Eipel and Alex Golish schemed Josh Heupel into good matchups yesterday. Come on back. This is interesting.